Welcome everyone. Adam DeWoo here. As the recording of this is Sunday, March 10th, 2024. Today is going to be a Jim E2 Mini Marge errand day around town. Just kind of see where the day leads. Got to go by the library, drop off some books that I checked out about two weeks ago. Need to go to Walgreens. Also going to go to downtown and check out the farmer's market, an event they do each and every Sunday. And then just see how the rest of the day just kind of bestows itself upon me and you. In fact, I'm inviting you, yes you, to join me. I am wearing an appropriate shirt to cruise around Celebration in. My Mickey shirt! It's, it's really, it's not. It's Rat Fink. Join me. Shall you? But speaking of hidden Mickeys, these are some of the books I got. Kind of peruse through these. Didn't go through each and every page of them. These I really enjoyed. I really kind of got into the railroad depots, Florida railroads, Orlando City of Dreams. Great book. And then this book as well. I'm gonna have to probably check a couple of these out again at some point. Didn't get, didn't do any kind of deep dive through them like I wanted to, but I did peruse the pages and really enjoyed a lot of the a lot of the history that's in here especially the railroads. A lot of these are already torn down, but there are a few of these left, which might be on my radar at some point. Got my Robert the Doll. I wanted to have to ask his permission to put the, the books in there, but I'm also gonna get some, some stuff for the air fryer a little bit later. So I might do some air fry, I forgot to add in. I'm gonna get some uh, veggies for the air fryer. Yesterday I went heavy on the protein. Today I'm gonna go heavy on the, on the veggies. I'm really loving the air fryer so far. I was, when I first got it, I was using it like every night for like the first couple weeks. I haven't used it in a few days. It's probably been about a week since I used it. But tonight, I'm gonna crank it up. That's right! I, I guess Arnold likes air frying. Also just finished up, in real time, my third day on the treadmill here in the home gym. If you wanna follow along with my Weight loss workout journeys. My Instagram, I post little stories on there, is Adam the Woo ATW on Instagram. I'm pretty motivated, so if you want to follow along, it's nothing much. It just shows me on the treadmill each day, but helps keep you motivated if that's your thing. The weather's really nice right now. Currently, 72 degrees. Church is going on right over there. No church parking. You will be towed if you park over in this neighborhood. You gotta park on the main road there or in the church parking lot. It's the Catholic Church, I believe. Sun's been out the last few days. Spring is almost here. What, a few days till the start of spring? Sun's out, bun's out? Or is it sun's out, the fun's out? Bun's out, probably frowned upon here. Don't want to be cruising around here, you know, with your buns out. I don't know though, you never, you know. I haven't read the all the ordinances of the town yet. There might be a little asterisk in there on certain days. Probably not Sundays though. No suns out, buns out on Sundays. <laughs> it's like Drew, driving through a movie set. Quintessential burbs. The picture of Tom Hanks coming out right here to get his paper. The paper boy knocks the coffee out of his hand, just like in the film. West Oaks Library. It's also voting day. Fun fact. All right, I dropped the few off, and I might get another one or two. Look at this, Lighthouses of the Florida Keys. Oh, look at this, look at this, yes. Oh, yes. Don't mind if I do. Scenic driving in Florida, bicycling in Florida, paddling. 
look at this. It's a book on Cypress Gardens. Oh. I gotta get this too. These are the two I'm getting. Ooh, look at this one too. Disney World at 50. Oh, look at this. Marty Scalar. Okay, I'm just gonna get these two. I don't need to overdo it. I am happy with my choices. I think Robert's also happy with my choices. Kind of nice to just detach from TV, phones, internet, things like that, and read a book every once in a while. I'm not the biggest reader, but occasionally I do like to pick up something that's non-digital, flip through pages, kind of like Peter Falk and Princess Bride. In my day, television was called books. That was the worst Peter Falk impression of all time. I don't even know who I was impersonating there. Also, side note, I am very happy with the decision to purchase this glorified golf cart. I get a lot of use out of it, I really do. And it doesn't take fuel, I just plug it in in the garage, go out and zip around town, a lot. That's Savannah Park I just passed. Love that park. Ooh, this worked out well. It's very busy downtown right now because of the farmer's market, but there is a spot here. I was thinking this wouldn't be available, but it is. Because I've learned when there's an event down here, all bets are off with finding parking spots. Now, because I'm a resident, I have a resident sticker not only in my car, but also with the cart, I can go over by where the pool is and there's resident parking, but that's, you know, a little bit farther away than parking straight downtown. There's actually a couple spots up here that are for carts, but rarely will you see carts parked there. Everyone just parks their regular cars. They just are driving. They're like, oh, I can park there. So they, they usually do. They don't want to, nobody really abides by the signs through there. Example number one. And example number two. In fact, I think you park here because it's yellow. But example number two. All bets are off. And with the weather getting nicer, warming up a little bit, and spring pretty much here, give or take a few days to so the first kickoff of spring, there's a lot of people downtown like that. This will be the first Sunday market at the Cornerstone Deli is not open. I addressed that in yesterday's video. Yesterday was the last day. They threw everything out front that they had leftover inventory and they were giving it away. Cornerstone Market is no more. I think there's some dogs barking. Fountain looking very beautiful. It's a beautiful day. This might be the cutest sign I've ever seen. I'm going to be doing a performance <laughs> of Taylor Swift. I like that little DIY promoting. Yep. Everyone is out. Look at the bike rack. Completely full of bikes and scooters. There's some birds up there chirping. I think they're arguing a little too. But definitely want to point out that this is the most amount of vendors that I've seen out here in the last few months now that winter is kind of come and gone, if you want to call it a winter, here in Florida. Spring right at the cusp. We'll do some, do some shopping. Goes down market, and then down towards the former theater. Still a theater, but not used. And then past the splash pad of the other. Uh, there's a lot out, a lot of vendors out here. I don't know if there's an official date kickoff for spring break, but. It's, I think it's pretty much already here. I think it's the the crowds here in Central Florida have arrived and I'm sure the parks probably already, if not starting tomorrow or the next day, are gonna be very, very, very busy. I think I might have to brave the parks a little bit just to test out the just to test out the test out the crowds. Just gonna get some squash today and some zucchini. I don't know if I'm gonna get too much fruit. Even though these seedless grapes look pretty dang good. 
but I do want to get some zucchini and squash. Got some Vidalia onions here, cucumbers. I think I'm gonna get any of those. I'm gonna get the traditional squash and trad ooh, watermelon. Cantaloupe. There it is, yellow squash and zucchini. Those are probably my two favorite things to make in the air. Ooh, and Brussels sprouts. Yeah, Brussels sprouts are on my radar too. We got some, these are big Brussels sprouts. Look at these things. Dang. You pretty much put anything in the air fryer. I did some asparagus recently. It was pretty good. But I think I'm just going to stick with those other three things I just showed. This booth is almost always here. There was one week they weren't here. They're usually always here. Look at these little potatoes. All right, this is going to be my meal later, my meal tonight. Got the Brussels sprouts, got the squash, and I got the zucchini. And there's a really long line. People are... Went ahead and put my veggies back in the cart. So just for the heck of it, I went to see if there was any good to go days, which is what the annual pass holders here. Sometimes if it's not busy in the parks, they'll do little circles around these greens, which lets you know it's a good to go day. So if I want to go to the parks today, it's full availability. I could just book one. There's no good to go days, but look, the entire month for my annual pass is all four parks is green. So I might, I might get down on some, uh, some Disney parks this week. Not today. Today is a relaxing day. Now they cleared everything out of here yesterday, but they did leave the tables out, which is kind of nice. Got the store. Oh, actually you can see in the window here. Could not see in yesterday. Uh, there's nothing over the windows now. Yep, I stood at that counter many, many times purchasing stuff. Still on that quest for some caffeine though. Still on that quest. All right, there is a spot down here at this far end. Black Brews Coffee. Have some pretty good coffee, different flavors I've had before. So I think that's going to be where I get my piping hot caffeinated beverage. Probably selling more cold coffee today than hot coffee, but... I don't know, that's usually how it goes though. Got the fountain over there. A lot of people utilizing the, the fountain because it's basically a splash pad. So this company was established in 2020, according to that. I think I've got coffee for them three or four times. Usually try something different every time. I'm walking around the back here next to the House of Jerks, which I've got some beef jerky from them in the past. It's a nice little uh, backdrop the coffee stand has underneath the, the two spires. Also met a Kissimmee local, and he said he's had this since 98. He wanted to give it to me because he doesn't have a big race fan. He said, I'll keep this in my car, hoping I'd see you. So he gave this to me, so pretty, pretty cool. Put this on my shelf with all my other race stuff. So this is a Kona blend? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Did you have, I don't think you've had this before, right? Or maybe? Yeah, we had that before. Hey, get, get him another coat because it's this one. Has it leaking? Yeah. No, 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 it's actually cracked. Oh. I don't like to get them. So that's the Hawaii Kona, Kona flavor, Hawaii yeah. Kona flavor. Mm -hmm. They got uh, honeysuckle and, uh, what's that, honeysuckle and cane sugar flavor notes to it. Right on. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, guys. There you go. Have a good one. Thank you again. Have a good one. All right, a little uh, Kona yes, Hawaii yes, yes. flavor. I guess it's definitely uh, coming warm through there. Excuse me, are you Adam? Yeah, it really is turning into a beautiful day. I've already said that once, saying it again. It's so beautiful, you want to say it twice. Living art atriums over here botanical designer look at those little cute cowboy boots down here but the cactus is coming out of the side of them it's pretty good coffee by the way this booth over here is out here on occasion they get the microgreens but also a support your local beekeepers sweet bee company which always has some good uh some good stuff so you got some new artwork since the last time i stopped by your booth yeah, this hollywood one. tower and, uh, you yeah, working on uh, tree of life i'm working on it very nice what was the, where can they find your link at? Uh, right Instagram, here? yeah. Lee Van Holden Art. Very cool. So you just came up with, yeah, I haven't seen that one before. That's awesome. Yeah. I was like this place, oh my guac, fresh guacamole. I've gotten some from there before. All right, stopped off at this Ribbons and Rage. Got some kind of interesting like horror themed stuff here. Evidently this booth is usually here, but I've never seen it before. 
I got some cute stuff there, a little Jason Voorhees. I like this uh, kind of demonic little fanny pack. Right over there, you got Freddy down, down there, got a little Beetlejuice. These candles are neat. No, I keep saying candles. They're tumblers. They're tumblers. I keep saying candles. I like the stained glass. Look at Captain Spaulding here looking uh, very sexy. Look at the uh, Terrifier right here. That is some kind of a movie. I watched Terrifier 1 and Terrifier 2 in the same night about a month ago. I watched the first one and I was like, that was interesting. So then I watched the second. And I was like, that was, yeah, I think of the two, I think I like the first one better. Not saying I liked either one of them, but the first one was better. This booth has a lot of Hollywood-esque stuff. You got Marilyn down here, you got Marilyn in front of the Hollywood sign. You got Los Angeles, you got the Hollywood, like spirit jersey style on the back of that jean jacket. Mexico. The hats are from Mexico? Mm -hmm. I like this one, this is very colorful. This is cool too. Oh, it's uh, Rolling Stones there. Yeah. So you do the jean jackets now, but in a week you're going to bring out your the t-shirts for spring. Yes. Oh, this is cute. There's a little, uh, look at a little bunny rabbit on the front of this one. Maybe I should accessorize mine for the holidays. I might, I might, I might look into that. Maybe not for Easter, but for other holidays. This is what I ended up purchasing from that booth. Well, I guess it has Hocus Pocus, which I like, and also coffee, which I like. Hocus Pocus, I need coffee to focus, and she was telling me when they create all this stuff, that a lot of people like car coasters now. I've never heard of a car coaster. I thought, is that a regular size coaster? No, it's for your car. But I don't know if I need one for my car, but I could definitely put one right down in here. So there it is. Hocus Pocus. I need coffee to focus. And then I'll put this over here. I guess I could put one on either one of them, right? Look at this big streak right down the middle of the road here. Big dark mark all the way down, right down the middle of this lane. I feel like I'm on Autopia or something. I got a rail down the middle. Between the 192 Publix, there's another Publix on World Drive, but the 192 Publix and this Walgreens, those would be the two spots that when I'm in the cart, that I usually will get supplies out. Also, this Walgreens has like a little secret room up there. It almost looks like a lighthouse. What if you could get up to that little wood? I wonder how you get up there. It doesn't really look like a lighthouse, but it kind of resembles the formation of a lighthouse. Got quite a few things here. Personal supplies, non-exciting stuff. Sometimes you gotta run some errands. <laughs> This is interesting. I didn't even notice what flavor it was when I bought it. I do like the fact that it's got the 10 calories there. It's pretty uh, moderately not bad for you to drink this. But this is a raspberry dark chocolate flavor with magnesium, antioxidant, vitamin C, vitamins B3, B5, B6, and B12. So anyway, Drew was telling John that he might, that he should have been Ryan's best man because Jim, what is all this? What the heck? I don't even know what that means. Anyway, it's pretty tasty. Tesla chargers all filled up. Well, there's one space that's not filled up. Seeing those chargers reminds me of something that I wanted to check out, I heard about yesterday. I'm gonna head back downtown. Supposedly, they got rid of a couple chargers over in the residence area. Let's see if it's true. Resident parking only. Parking decal required. Yeah, right up here, they used to have chargers. But I was seeing something online that that might not be a thing anymore as of a couple of days ago. No, looks like they're still here. So whatever I was reading was a fallacy. What if I could, can I charge my cart here? Or is it just for Teslas? I don't know. I don't know enough about these things. Also, starting to warm up a little bit. I'm going to have to start hitting some of the community pools up. There's a bunch of them here in town. At some point. Yeah, just driving around, I'm definitely noticing more people walking, having a good time, out and about. 
the amount of people than I've seen over the last few months. Again, when the weather was a little cooler, people are not out as much, but the people here in Florida, probably also a lot of tourists are in town. Again, more vendors at the art market. That guy's going really fast through here. This is the town hall because it's Sunday as I'm filming this. Nothing going on inside it today, not open on Sundays. But it definitely has that same vibe, same architecture as the studio buildings in Burbank. Also, if you're attempting to find parking downtown, and you can't, because a lot of times there's not, if you go over here to where Wisteria Lane is, and then you pass where Wisteria Lane, go down this other street where they've clipped off the trees, if you park over here on the other side of this lake, this is not Lake Ryan Harbor, this is Southern Lake, and you just walk through the woods there, there's like a walking, running, jogging path, You'll be right downtown. Easy peasy. That's a hack from me to you. It's a hack. Just don't tell anyone. Don't let anybody just keep it between us. Yeah, just walk through the woods right over there. Walking path. Classic car alert. Look at this thing. That's awesome. Even has the little fuzzy dice in the on the rearview mirror. Okay, this is kind of funny. A couple months ago, I pointed out that one of, there was a misspelling on the signage over at Lake Reinhardt, which again is right through a little walking path through the woods there, a little little dock. You can see there's another one right here. And after I sh after I showed it in the video, they changed the sign and they spelled harass correctly, but they have not changed this one. Violation of Florida law to feed or harass alligators. The one right in front of Lake Reinhardt has now changed. A whole new sign where they, they spelled it correctly with the one R instead of the double R. But this one still has the double R. For now. Oh, there's also another sign right there. Can't tell from here. Okay, it appears as if the, the spelling has not made it all the way down there, but it has been fixed here. All right, I got my veggies all washed off. Now I'm gonna cut them up and basically cut them on the cutting board. And then I'm gonna put a little oil and a little flavoring on all this. And then I usually will cook when it comes to veggies I'll do it on a, about 300, or not 300, 400, 375 to 400 for about 15 minutes. Once I got the squash, I usually will put it in this Cool Whip container, and then I'll take the light olive oil, and it just depends, I've been using this buttery herb garlic, just a little bit of this, and kind of shake it around in this, and then I'll put it on the tray, I'll do that with all, all the veggies, just to give it a little flavor. Then kind of repeat the same thing with the zucchini also, Sprinkle a little bit of that on there, just a little bit of uh, extra light tasting olive oil. Put the top on it, shake it up, and then dump it over onto here. Now I know it will probably cook a little bit better if these were not layered on top of each other, but I've done it quite a few times and it turns out pretty good where they're soft and edible and cooked enough, even with like dumping them all on the tray. This is going to be a hefty amount of veggies. I'm getting my veggie fix tonight. All right, looks pretty good. I like the fact it's got a little, little burnt edges there on the top leaves of the Brussels. Like it like that. The flavoring kind of cooked into that. I don't even know if this bowl is, or not the bowl, but the plate I'm gonna be having is big enough, but scoop some out and uh, consume this. I'm actually watching the Oscars right now. Just started probably about 30 minutes ago. Curious to see what happens. I'm kind of excited about seeing Ryan Gosling do the Ken song. I think he's supposed to perform it. 
nonetheless, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over. All right, update. Bonus footage. I think my eyes were bigger than my stomach. I am really full. I can't finish the rest of this. Also, I was once in a commercial during the Oscars, I believe it was 2020, they used a filming location when I went to the Christmas Story house. It was used in a Google ad called Find Your Scene or something like that. I remember that. Like I said, it was four years ago. Anyway, you can search it. All right, that's it. But I remember that. I remember when that happened, everyone was messaging me and going, Oh my gosh, we just saw you on the first commercial break of the Oscars. Anyway, tie into the Oscars. Okay, that's all.